In this video, we're going to explore what kind of SQL statements are generated when we use fixed LODs. For the walkthrough, I'm going to use Microsoft SQL Server. This is the SQL Server Management Studio. Let's just connect first so I can show you what database we will use. Let's expand this a little bit. In the Object Explorer, we can expand Databases. And what you see in here is a database called Superstore. I simply imported the Superstore Excel file into a database. Let's expand this a little bit. Under Tables, here we can see the three tables. I'm simply going to use the Orders table. The Orders table should have all the columns that are present in our Superstore Excel file. So when we expand this under Columns, these are all the same columns. We will also use SQL Server Profiler to capture the events that are happening in the database. Later on in Tableau, we will use a live connection, so we should be able to see the statements that the Tableau desktop passes to SQL Server. Let's set up our trace first. Under Tools, SQL Server Profiler. Here, let's connect. For now, I'm going to leave a lot of the settings by default, but under Events Selection, I'm going to select Show All Events and Show All Columns. We're going to scroll down, and we are going to capture all the SQL statements, any of the statements that are starting and any of the statements that have been completed. Now, because there might be a lot of background processes that are happening that are generating SQL statements as well, we're simply going to filter this to capture anything that's coming from Tableau. So under Column Filters, under Application Name, let's click on Like. We're simply going to type in where it's like Tableau percent. And let's click OK. And let's run this now. So let's go back to Tableau first. In Tableau, let's connect to SQL Server. So in here, Microsoft SQL Server. This is already set up to use the Superstore database. Sign in. Let's drag the orders table. And let's go to Sheet 1. Let's investigate first what kind of SQL gets generated when we drag over a measure to our canvas. Let's take sales, drag it over to text, and let's go back to the SQL Server Profiler. So in here, let's take a look at the last statement. Here we can see that simply dragging a measure with no dimensions just generates a select statement. Let's copy this over to Management Studio so we can compare all the statements later on. So I'm going to copy just the select statement, create a brand new query. Let's change the database as well. So for this one, case one, measure only. And this is the statement. Let's run this. So it simply gives us some kind of a grand total. Let's go back to Tableau. So now what happens when we drag over a dimension? For example, we're going to drag over category. Let's go back to Profiler. Let's take a look at the latest statement. And let's copy this over. And back to Management Studio. So let's say in here, Case 2, Measure with Dimension. Here, the big difference is the introduction of a new field, of our Dimension field, both in the Select clause as well as the Group by clause. So you can kind of see it right here. Let's take a look at another case case three. And for this one, let's just investigate what kind of SQL statement we're going to get if we have a fixed LOD just on grand total. So fixed LOD for grand total. Going back to Tableau, let's create a new sheet. Let's create a calculated field. Grand total. This one is going to be fixed LOD. So fixed. So no dimensions, just an aggregation. Sum of sales. Let's click OK. And let's drag this over. Let's go back to Profiler. Let's copy the select statement over and back to Management Studio. So what are the difference we can see at this point? Case 1 and Case 3 are similar because both of them are simply looking at the grand total. However, one difference is the naming. For the regular aggregated measure, it's called sum sales OK. However, for the fixed LOD, the name has a calculation indicator. Let's take a look at another case, case four. So in here, what we want to do is we're going to combine case two plus the fixed LOD. 
What if we introduce the fixed LOD into a sheet that has the regular measures and it also has dimensions? So going back to sheet one, this is what we have. Let's add our fixed LOD that has the grand total. Let's simply double click that. We can see in here that the value that the column returns is the same for all categories. What SQL did this generate? Let's pick the last statement. So what we're seeing right now is a longer statement. Let's copy this over so it's a little bit more legible in Management Studio. So let's take a look at this. I'm just going to reformat this so it's a little bit easier to read. So what are we seeing here? It looks like this is the same statement as we had in case two. So that hasn't changed. The big difference though, is we now have a cross join. A cross join is a Cartesian product. It basically multiplies the result or matches all the results from here to all the rows that are returned in a previous table. So if we run this, What we are seeing is the exact same result we have in the canvas. So what does this help to show? What this shows is our fixed LODs are fairly independent of the dimensions that we have in the canvas, because this is that statement. It is not affected by how many columns we have inside our select clause, and it's also not affected by the group by clause. It's not going to be subdivided or grouped by any of the other columns we have in our canvas. Let's do one last case. Let's create another fixed LOD, but this time around, it's going to be fixed to a dimension. So on the dropdown, create calculated field. Let's call this total by category. This is also going to be a fixed LOD. So fixed to category. And this is going to be sum of sales. Let's click OK. Let's add this to our canvas, drag this over. Right now, we don't see the difference between this value and the value generated by our regular sum of sales. But let's introduce another dimension. Let's add subcategory into our canvas. We can see in here that the total by category is going to repeat for all of the subcategories, but it changes values for the next category value. So what SQL did this generate? Going back to Profiler, scroll down, last statement. Let's copy this over. Case five, we have fixed LOD with dimension list. I'm just gonna paste the statement and reformat so that it's a little bit easier for us to read. So what do we have here? The first subquery is all about the regular measures the ones that don't have the fixed LODs. And we can see this is given an alias T0. So T0 category, T0 subcategory, and T0 sum of sales. Now for the fixed LOD with a grand total, it becomes its own subquery. This is given an alias of T1, and we can see that it's displaying T1 regardless of any other dimensions, because in here, the group by clause is empty. It's not subdivided by anything. The second fixed LOD, the one that is fixed to a category, it generates another subquery. And note in here that the subqueries are generated in the from clause. So this subquery is given an alias of T2. T2 is displayed in our select clause, but this one has a little bit of dependency with the original table because in here, the on clause or the conditions on how it's matching, it matches T0, which is our regular table, the one that has all the group by clauses, it matches this against the dimension that we specify in our LOD expression, which is category. So in here, we can see that it's matching against the category equals category. Are you surprised by the statements that were generated when we use fixed LODs? We may not need to know all these statements that are generated under the hood, but if you have familiarity with databases or SQL, this would be good to know because this can help explain how much processing is happening on the database engine side. We will do more profiling work with other types of LODs in the future. I hope you found this little exploration helpful. Thank you for your time, and I will see you again next time.